Bright. Everybody good to go? Yeah. All right, uh, head coach Yap Stam. Uh, coach, just start with giving us your thoughts on the match. Yeah, and uh, an interesting match because uh, I, uh, yeah, I spoke with a couple of you guys before the, the game as well. We uh, we were facing again a good team, a good side with good players uh, and playing a certain way that they made it made it well make it diff difficult for like a lot of teams, the majority of teams in the MLS. Um, and at, at certain times you can see that tonight as well. But I think in how we performed, in how we played, uh, very confident in what we wanted to do and playing out from the back. Um, not taking risk, yeah, sometimes taking risk and doing that, but that's what you need to do if you want to play in a certain way. But, um, but doing that very well, so you at times come out and uh, you break the lines and then you reach the midfield and you go all the way forward to attack, which is, which is good to see, which is nice to see as well, because we put a lot of attention to it. We talk with the players about that and you can see that if you're doing it, uh, doing it well, players are in the right positions then they, uh, they make it very difficult for the opposition. And that's what we, what we did, especially in the first half. Um, we defended very dis disciplined first half as well, sometimes pressing high, sometimes uh, a little bit in a deeper block as well, and not giving the spaces away in, uh, in yeah, what they were looking for, basically, from, with Mikhailovic in, uh, you know, in, in between lines, always waiting for us to, uh, to step out, to press, and then, of course, try, they tried to reach him in, in between lines and then to open up and then go forward. I think the midfield players, together with the uh, with the defenders, did that very well. Defended very well. The two up top, uh, Lucho and Brenner, as well, very uh, very dis disciplined. And then you can see you force them to make mistakes, and then you win the ball. And then at times in transition, you come out uh, very dangerously. Uh, and sometimes, and that's the uh, yeah. Do we want to be critical at times? Then then you can say yeah. Sometimes when we come out in uh, in transition, then you need to keep the ball a bit longer instead of like forcing it when it's uh, when there's an overload for them uh, with defenders. But I think we've done that very well. Um, you know, we scored. Uh, I think a great goal. I think it was close to offside. I'm not sure if it was. So certain people say it was. Others say, well, it was very close. Maybe he could have given it as well. Um, so that's uh, that was very good. Um, you know, during the game, I think we hit twice the crossbar as well. Sometimes you get the questions after from journalists as well that okay, the opposition had so many shots. And I think if you look at the game, I think we had a total of 17 shots. They had seven, not one on target, I believe. And Titi saved one maybe. On the sides, but um, you know, so I think in, in uh, hitting, hitting the crossbar twice as well, I think we've done well. Uh, we've created opportunities. The only thing is, and uh, I said that as well to the team afterwards. You know, I'm proud of them and how they performed and how they played. They play very consistent. You know, doing well on the ball, defensively doing well, not conceding, still creating opportunities. Yeah, and then you need to finish them off. We all know that, and uh, and that's the thing that will come eventually. Um, I've been there myself as well. Sometimes you're in like in a streak of of games that it's, it's hard to find the net at times as well but if you keep on doing what you're good at and we've been doing that now for weeks in games then you can see that the, the, the chances will come and then eventually you need to score yourself and I'm sure that's going to happen and then hopefully we, uh, we get these wins because then you, make, uh, you, make, you can make big steps in, uh, on the table as well but if you don't win then it always becomes more difficult. Alright we'll open up to questions. Uh, Pat, yeah, we can start with you. Thank you. Yeah, but the first two games between these two clubs earlier this season produced 12 goals. Obviously, scoreless draw tonight. Do you feel like both teams kind of corrected or overcorrected for the offense of the previous two matches and just made it a little bit more defensive tonight? Yeah, sometimes it's. Um, I, I don't. I don't think uh, we approach the game in terms of that we didn't want to concede. You know, you always want to go forward. You want to score goals and of course you don't want to concede but sometimes it happens because of the quality of the teams as well and in the first two games yeah situations occurred that um, you know they scored and that we scored as well by doing certain things um, and that's the question that that you guys raised uh, before as well yeah if you play each other three times you know you can see each other and what what are the the, the strength what, what's the weaknesses and uh, what do you maybe need to change to make it more difficult for them and hopefully um, well, more easier for us so you're always looking for certain things, and that's what I mentioned as well, certain details that you hopefully can change to not concede, but still to, to score. That's the same what the opposition is doing. So that's why sometimes it becomes more difficult if you play each other a lot of times in a row. But um, yeah, I, I think in, in how we played, uh, in how we approached the game, uh, um, what, we, what we've been showing today as well was very positive. Yeah, and then the only thing is yeah, that, you can, that you need to score. Which we didn't, which is a pity. But um, you know, if you keep creating opportunities, then it's very important to do that, and then eventually it will go in as well. All right, Laurel. 
you guys have eight points on draws this season, and I know we've talked about it a lot, but is it is it getting tired just uh, <laughs> getting the draw and not getting the win? Yeah, but that's the, that's the disappointment because if, if, if you play well, and a lot of times you play better than the opposition, and you create more and more than the opposition, yeah, then of, of course it gets tired when you don't score and you don't win that game. You know, but uh, last season we sat here and then you were close and then you lose a lot of games. Now we draw a lot of, lot of games, yeah, and that happens as well. And you cannot expect every opportunity that you get or uh, every couple that, that always that ball is going to go in. So sometimes, or a lot of times, yeah, when you don't, when you're that close, and we speak about it quite often now, yeah, it's a pity that you don't score and that the ball is not going to go in, that you don't win a game. But that's, uh, that's how it goes, you know, that's in, in soccer and the sports that you can also uh, finish a game in, uh, in the draw. Gloria Green, yeah. Uh, how did you feel about the passing tonight? It seemed like there were some good ones, but then maybe it was just the timing of some of the ones that didn't go well. How would you assess that area of the game? Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes, and that's, that's also when you play, sometimes you give balls away because they want to make uh, quick decisions in, in getting some people in, in positions to score goals. Well, that's, that's how it works. Because also in passing, when you're playing, when you're playing soccer, sometimes you need to take a risk in your pass. Because if you don't do that, then um, it's going to be very hard to deliver that ball in tight areas to your, uh, to your, uh, to your teammates. But, yeah, and then sometimes we can say, and that's what we address ourselves as well, that uh, yeah, you need to be at times a little bit more accurate or sometimes a little bit more composed uh, when you do this. But that's, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's what happens in soccer. But it's not only with us, that happens uh, with our, every team that we're playing as well. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Bueno, Gustavo. Uh, empieza con, con sus pensamientos en, en este partido hoy. Eh, buenas noches a todos. Eh, la verdad que hubo un partido eh, muy duro, eh, un partido de ida y vuelta por, por medio también del otro equipo, eh, pero creo que estuvimos compactos y, su, y supimos manejar bien las situaciones. Es un partido muy difícil, estuvo up and down por un lot of it, pero nos felt muy bien porque estuvimos muy compactos y nos felt like we really controlled the ball en la back line. All right, first question from Laurel. It was um, pretty hot tonight. Um, you guys did come off a 10-day break, but how did you guys feel physically out there just in those conditions? Hace mucho calor esa noche y y uh, había 10 días hasta el primer partido pasado. ¿Cómo te sientes físicamente en ese partido? Eh, la verdad que sí, hacía mucho calor, pero creo que eh, en medio del partido pudimos tomar un poco de de, de hidratación para poder seguir. Eh, me siento ahora muy muy cansado por, por el ritmo que llevó el partido, pero hay que recuperar para el próximo que es el día sábado. The game was obviously very tough, very hot, but we, they had the break um, and chance to rest and reset themselves. Um, and you know, very tired though from the way the match was played and how up and down and how fast paced it was. But you know, just got to turn around and get ready for Saturday. Second question from Pat. Hola, Gustavo. Um, it's been a while since Cincinnati won a match. Uh, hasn't won a match at TQL Stadium yet. Uh, what what is the frustration level for players right now, and how are the players managing that? Ha sido algunos partidos hasta que ya ya ganamos. Entonces, cómo te sientes de eso y cómo te que manejas esa frustración de hacer casi ganar, pero no ya. La verdad que lo manejamos de muy tranquilos de la, de la mejor manera porque sabemos que, que no debemos frustrarnos durante el partido porque por esa frustración que tenemos podemos cometer unos simples errores que, que nos puede costar el partido. Entonces tratamos de estar tranquilos, tratamos de estar concentrados para el partido. Our mentality is that we can't get frustrated and we can't let that get us down because the frustration turns into simple mistakes and you know we can't make those simple mistakes if we want to win games. So we just got to stay focused and stay calm about that and you know, it'll come. We'll take, yeah, one more no. from, from Laura. One of your teammates uh, recently was talking about just needing to show a little bit more grit in some of these game uh, games, especially uh, when you guys went up a man. Was there anything you feel like, or how do you feel like you guys responded to that situation, and how could you handle it better maybe in the future? Uh, un compañero ha hablado de tiene, un, tiene que tener un mentalidad más, más feroz uh, para hacer ese, ese, ese ganar. Um, ¿Cómo te sientes de esa cambia de mentalidad y tener que ser un poquito más feroz? La mentalidad está. Eh, siempre, todos los partidos tratamos de ganar, eh, sí o sí. 
pero todos los partidos no son iguales, eh, siempre va a haber eh, diferencias entre un partido y otro. Entonces, porque las ganas están, entonces las garras están por, por, por ganar el partido, pero como digo, son situaciones que dependen también de, de cómo se lleva a cabo el partido. He said that, you know, that mentality is there, it's there between everybody in the locker room and they're focused on that and they know that that's the mentality that's going to get them to cross that line. One final question. Hola Gustavo, para Noticias Cincinnati. ¿Qué hay que hacer o qué falta para ganar un partido de local? Eh, lo que nos hace falta, eh, yo creo que nos hace falta... Eh, que puede ser como estar más decididos en, en, en la hora de, 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 de tener el balón, estar con más calma porque llegamos mucho a veces al área, eh, pero por cosas del partido no se ha dado, eh, pero creo que estamos con esa misma ilusión de ganar un partido aquí en casa y creo que lo vamos a conseguir. So the question was about winning, just what it's going to take to win a match at home, and he said. We've been good with the ball. We've been getting into the box. We've been creating chances. It's just going to take that extra preciseness uh, in, in the box and in the final third to just take that chance and get us over the line. All right. Gracias, Gustavo. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Uh, we've got Harris Uh You just want to start with your thoughts on the match? Yeah, we don't win again. Uh, I think uh, we created uh, a lot of chances. Uh, but like the problem uh, this year, uh, we don't finish games, and uh, it cost us a lot of uh, a lot of points this year. And I think uh, we create uh, a lot against a good team. But uh, like everybody knows, it's about uh, scoring goals, and we didn't do that. And uh, it's uh, it's difficult uh, because if you don't create, then uh, you know you, you will be okay. We didn't create nothing, but I think still. Uh, we created good opportunities and uh, we hit the crossbar uh, two times. Uh, and in the end, uh, I think he could go in if he was on the goal from Brendan, uh, but we don't have this luck right now. And, uh, but uh, we need to continue. There's 16 more games and uh, we cannot give up. First question. Go to Pat. Paris, thanks a lot for your time. Um, what is the frustration level for the team right now it's been a while since the clubs won haven't won yet at tql stadium it seems like we ask you a lot of the same questions every time we talk to you other players how frustrating is just this whole situation yeah it's uh, it's very frustrating you know uh, because you play to win especially at home uh, with amazing crowd we want to give them uh, a win but i think um, we show today uh, that we are a good team we're fighting until the end and uh, we don't give up only uh, the most important thing in, the, in soccer is to score goals. If you don't score, uh, you cannot win. And I think a couple of uh, games uh, we score the goals, uh, but we don't win. And uh, now, like, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't lose in four games. So it's also uh, something positive. And, uh, and uh, you know, we need, to, we need to continue. We cannot give up. And uh, so uh, that's my uh, opinion. Laurel, and then we'll go to Jeff. I know you said um, you didn't want to settle for draws, uh, but do you take anything out of getting another clean sheet? And also, because um, we haven't asked anyone yet, T uh, with, sorry, with TT coming in tonight, um, how do you feel like that went just with the back line and, and you guys kind of in the back there? No, well, of course. Uh, clean sheet's always good. Uh, we show uh, that we defend good. We don't, uh, I think they had zero shots on goal, on target. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good uh, team defense for everyone. And, uh, but, uh, you know, you want to, uh, like, reward yourself uh, at, the other end, at the other end. But uh, we don't do that. And I think uh, we create a lot with good opportunities. But uh, it's the same story right now. Uh, we don't put them uh, behind the net, on the net, like behind the goal. So like it's it's frustrating, but uh, we need to continue. All right, Jeff. So you're obviously creating a lot of chances. What what do you think? What do you think is missing? Is it just that final 
the quality with the final ball? Is it uh, decision making? Is it is it guys maybe trying to be a little bit too precise, trying to do too much perhaps? What do you think is missing that is um, that is preventing this this team from kind of taking that next step? Yeah, I think uh, like you said, you know, you need to be uh, clinical in the final third. Uh, sometimes maybe an extra pass we can give. Maybe uh, you know we want to rush it and want to play the last pass uh, that is maybe not uh, necessary. So uh, maybe if we give another uh, extra pass, somebody else will be in front of the goal. So I think these kind of things uh, need to be more sharper uh, in the final third because uh, in MLS you don't get a lot of chances, uh, especially if you play against good teams. And Montreal is a good team. Uh, they showed that uh, even uh, when they had 10 men, they uh, still. Uh, Trying to play out from the back, and uh, but I think uh, we had our opportunities. If we was uh, more clinical in the final third, we could uh, we could get more chances. But uh, that's now after uh, after the game talk. You know, uh, you need to uh, do that in the game. Uh, but uh, like uh, like we said before, you know, a clean sheet is important. You know, and uh, we show that uh, we are consistent right now. We played a lot of ties, but. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we have 16 more games to go, and uh, if you win a couple of games in a row, you, you're still back there. You know, everything is uh, close with other teams, and uh, you know, you are now uh, you play against good teams right now. You play against the first uh, first in the Eastern Conference, uh, New England, against a good team. So we need to prepare ourselves very good and uh, show that we can play also against against them away. We have one more. Uh, hola. Harris, para Noticias Cincinnati, eh, la misma pregunta, eh, ¿qué hay que hacer para salir del último puesto? Uh, tenemos que marcar uh, goles, es, uh, es fácil, es así, en, uh, para nosotros uh, que hablé antes, es, uh, uh, necesitamos algo, en, uh, último, necesitamos un último pase, tenemos muchas ocasiones este partido, pero no marcamos, uh, yo creo que Jugamos uh, bien contra un buen equipo, pero en fútbol es muy importante marcar goles y si no haces eso es difícil uh, salir ganando hoy. Pero yo creo uh, estoy satisfecho con el equipo porque tenemos muchas ocasiones hoy, pero es importante ganar, es uh, importante marcar goles en fútbol. The, que the question was, what do you need to do to take the final step? And the answer was, you know, make that final pass and get that goal. It's the goals that are going to, you know, push us across the line. And, you know, we're not going to make that step till we, till we get those goals. So that's, uh, that's it from, from Harris. Appreciate it, everybody. Okay. Thank you.